Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com. And as you can see, I'm checking my battery information on my uh, Mini 2 because I want to find out on a hot day here in Arizona, I want to find out how long I can fly without damaging the battery. 40 degrees centigrade is what they recommend that you stay below because that's about 105 or 107 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So anyway, I thought I'll just time this out and uh, see how, how long I can fly before it reaches uh, <clears throat> uh, 40 degrees centigrade. And I'll just fly around in circles so that uh, uh, I don't, uh, <laughs> don't go anywhere far away because it's going to have to come back quick when it gets to 40 degrees. So anyway, uh, that's the plan for this video. And uh, I, uh, I did this last summer. Uh, when I had my Mini 1, I used, uh, I used it uh, while my son was building the addition onto his shop, which is just now coming into view. I could, uh, I could get up when it was 100 degrees and fly for less than 10 minutes with my Mini 1 and get a video shot and then go cool it off and come back later. And, and so I got lots of good shots. Now right here where we pause to... Uh, Take a look at what the temperature is, which is now 27.4. Uh, uh, when I was creating this video, it was very frustrating because although the screen recording uh, shows us moving on, the actual video from the camera would not would not go beyond that point, and it was very frustrating. I couldn't it just I struggled. In fact, I spent most of the day uh, trying to figure out what was wrong. Started out, what I did was. Uh, uh, DJI names their videos like DJI. This one was 121, the first half, the first clip in this video. And uh, so I played it out, you know, I played it just playing it uh, outside of the editor and it worked fine. But when it got in the editor, it got to that one point and wouldn't go any further. And so I thought, okay, so I removed, uh, I removed the, the uh, clip from the project bin and drug it in again and it still did the same thing so then i decided okay i started caden live all over again and started from scratch and by the way caden live i uh i i put the the uh, camera video on uh, one one track and then i put the uh the screen recording on a track just above it and i fade in and out as you can see here uh we're looking at the screen recorder and then i fade back to the camera uh, the camera video so uh, try to make it nice and smooth transition well anyway so I couldn't get it to work and couldn't get it to work so then I ran an antivirus scan of my computer and, <laughs> and vacuumed the trailer while that was going on and then uh, I I, uh, I uh, started over again and uh, that that time the the time after I after I ran the scan I noticed that the, the title of the clip was DJI 121, but when I drug it into Caden Live, it was not called that. It was called some strange numbers and colons and minus signs. And so I thought, okay, there's something wrong with that video. And I mean, it plays fine when you don't have it in the editor. So I got, I opened up my VLC free video editor. And if you haven't uh, got that, you ought to download it. It's totally free. And you can change uh, you can change video formats like from MOV to MP4 or the other way around. And so what I did was I converted my file with with what appeared to be issues from an MP4 to an MP4. When I got that done, then it worked fine. So by that time it was late afternoon. Look here, we're up to 31 degrees, and um, about four minutes into the flight or so. So. Uh, uh, and what I decided was at this particular point, I would just leave that up and we could watch the temperature rise. And because uh, I started out at it was eight. Well, it was 80 degrees. Actually, it was 79 degrees. But I thought by the time I get it all set up, it'll be 80 degrees. Well, so I started at 79. And uh, but you can see here, uh, <laughs> I'm spinning around uh, because uh, as I go around here. Uh, somewhere along in here, the screen on my phone started to go dim. And that's because what I did was I was standing in the sun and my uh, my phone 
goes dim when it, when it gets warm. I should have moved into the shade sooner than I did. So it started to get warm and then it goes dimmer and dimmer and uh, somewhere along in here that happened. But you can see it's up to 32 degrees and we're just kind of watching it climb here. And we'll watch it climb until my phone gets dim enough that it's, it's difficult to see. And uh, so in the meantime, I'll see if I can tell you a story and uh, we'll just watch this happen. Years ago when I was a kid, I put my trust in Jesus and I was very active in Youth for Christ and church and all that. But as years went by, I kind of uh, got away from the Lord. And then uh, I was in my 30s when I bought my sailboat. And I've been telling sailboat stories. So when I was in my 30s, I bought my sailboat. And I actually only had it two years because after I'd had it for, uh, oh, uh, now this is, this is where I decided I was totally disoriented here. I could not find the direction my camera was get or my phone was getting so dim I couldn't see uh, plain what I was looking at so I v eventually got it straightened out as you'll see but so anyway uh, after I got my sailboat it wasn't long uh, maybe a year uh, until I got my uh, heart right with the Lord went to a church and uh, it was good preaching and so I decided okay I'll just uh, you know go, <laughs> go to church well anyway they hired me to be their chief engineer for the radio station because I was licensed to do all that kind of stuff. Well, so in, I was teaching Sunday school and that was my job and weekends is when I used to go sailing and camp out. And I wasn't able to do that. So I just said, okay, I'll put my boat up for sale. So I put it up for sale. I'm not gonna tell you how much it would because back then it would just break your heart. It, I put it up for sale. Okay, now it's up to 33.8 degrees. I found my way home here, and so I'm going to just kind of uh, fly around real close to home. Now we're back onto the camera's video. So anyway, um, I, uh, uh, I couldn't, you know, I tried to go like uh, go sailing and on Saturday or something like that, but I taught Sunday school on Sunday and uh, it was the f most fun job I ever had was being chief engineer for that radio station. And uh, so anyway, I, I, I decided to sell the boat. So I put it up for sale. I put it up for sale for less than the price I paid for it. And people come and look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. And then they wouldn't buy it. So then uh, I lowered the price and they wouldn't buy it. And then I lowered the price again. I got it down to where it was about... 25% of the original price and nobody would buy it and I could not figure out why because they came and looked at it and they liked it. So I sat in my backyard for a while and, um, and it just sat there and I didn't, I couldn't use it much uh, because of my job and everything. By the way, here I'm so concerned about the, uh, <laughs> about the, uh, the drone uh, overheating and so forth. So I'm still flying around but close to the ground and I, have, I can't see the screen very well, so I'm just, it's staring at the ground instead of where we're going. And pretty soon I figure that out. So anyway, uh, my boat was sitting in the backyard there for a long time. And then my pastor got me interested in airplanes. And he said, you should get an airplane. Well, because, uh, you know, I love to fly and stuff, but I never got my license. So uh, there was an airplane uh, in a nearby town. And... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, he wanted, believe it or not, he only wanted 5,000 for it. Now there's 36 degrees. We're getting close to 40, so we'll just leave it up there. So anyway, uh, I I really want that. The plane was for sale for $5,000, and I really wanted to buy it, but there's no way I could buy it. And uh, the pastor explained, if you refinance your house, it'll pay for the plane and the and the um, pr uh, the uh, lessons. But uh, that was still more than I could get with my house. So my wife said, well, why don't you see if he wants to trade for the boat? And I said to her, nobody in this world is going to want to trade a boat for a plane or a plane for a boat. And she says, well, how much is it going to cost you to call? So I said, well, okay, I'll give him a call. So the next day I'm sitting there and I call him up and I about fell out of my chair because I told him, you know, I had this boat and a 23-foot sailboat. And he says, where can I see the boat? And I just almost fell out of my chair. Well, as it turned out, uh, he didn't trade straight across, but he gave me credit for the boat against the plane for the same amount that I had lowered the price to try to sell the boat. So far as I know, the good Lord was hanging on to that boat so that 
when I got into, uh, when I decided to go get into flying, I'd have something to buy myself an airplane with. So, uh, and my family was not too happy with me because I remember <laughs> they were almost in tears when that guy came over and uh, hooked up to the trailer and pulled that big old boat out of the driveway. But uh, anyway, and then uh, I went ahead and bought or got the plane and uh, that's another story and you've heard some of my flying stories about the plane. So anyway, so I, unless I can think of any more, I probably won't have any more sailing stories. I still have probably some stories I could tell if, uh, if you want to listen to them. But uh, anyway, so here we are. We're up to 38, well, actually almost 39 degrees centigrade. And, um, and so it's getting close to time when I, can, I will have to land. Now, the, as I said, I can hardly see the screen, but I had moved over into the shade, and it made it a whole lot easier to, to see the white letters on the back screen. So I'm just flying around in circles, as you, I don't know if you've noticed, but just flying around in circles in my, uh, in the backyard there, uh, letting a plane, or letting a drone um, uh, get cool out. You don't want to, you don't want to sit still because then it overheats. It's got to have that airflow going through it. So we're getting up there close now. It's uh, 39 and, and uh, getting close to 40. When it hits 40, um, it's 40 degrees centigrade is like 105 or 107, somewhere in there, and there it hits 40. So now I'm going to go ahead and land. You notice I switch back to the, to the uh, drones camera, and we'll go ahead and land. But as you can see, I got the temperature went up to 105 degrees, and uh, I, I flew for, uh, actually the flight was 12 minutes long, but I know on a hot day I can fly for less than 10 minutes. So I want to thank you for watching and God bless. <music>